Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a demonstration of loading a flat application onto an Android device. And you can see that um, I have install app here. And I'm going to install this flat app. Now, uh, I hope that the developer of this particular application included uh, their own icon. Otherwise, this flat app is going to look exactly like the other flat app it's installed on my device now. Let's go ahead and click install, find out. Okay, it says installing flat. And nothing happened, so I don't know if nothing's on the UI telling me if anything's changed. So let's go take a look at flat. And you see I've got two flat here, or one flat rather, flat. F-L-E-T. All right, so now I have two. And this is a problem that uh, uh, <clears throat> needs to be addressed at some point in the development cycle for future flat applications to make it easier to rename the flat app or make it clearer on how to do so because now I don't know which flat app is the one I just downloaded. Let's open up this one. And this is the one I just installed. So you can see that buried in the gray text there, it says start. And uh, so I was supposed to pay attention to whatever the colors were at the beginning. I did not. Let's click start and see what happens. Oh, start is already clicked. So I'm pressing the, pressing the squares. Oh, <clears throat> oh. Okay, well, uh, let's try that again. So now I have to pay attention. All right, so I've got uh, four boxes that I need to tap. One, two, three, four. And yes, I got all the tabs. All right, so I'm not gonna play this game. You figure it out. Um, so that's how you install a flat application onto your Android device. Now again, the major concern for anybody installing flat apps is that now you can see that I've got two flat apps. Let's see if I can rename this one. Site settings. It doesn't allow me to rename it. No. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> App info, maybe. Hmm. It says app downloaded from Google Play Store, which it was not. Very interesting. Okay, so you can see that uh, even though it is very cool, you write Python, you load it into a web page, you can download it onto your Android device and maybe your iPhone device, but uh, there is no way of uh, renaming the downloaded application, so the developers must pay attention to the naming of the application as well as making sure that there is a meaningful icon for their application. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, a big shout out to the person who created Memory Matrix. What is his good name or her good name? Line Indent. Line Indent, uh, thanks for this application, and happy computing.